Hello, I'm Sarjan. Welcome to Getting Started with Java Deep Learning. Let me introduce myself. I graduated from Istanbul Technical University Mathematics Engineering, but some call it Applied Math, and currently studying my master degree on Computer Engineering of Bahçeşehir University. Besides of that, I'm a core Java developer working on mission critical applications at Turkey's biggest financial data provider and software house, Forex, Information Technology and Services. I have six years of experience in this company. We basically build high performance stock exchange integrations and also provide cloud APIs and stock market feed analytics to our customers. My interest on neural networks and machine learning started in 2012 for a research and development project called Neural Networks in Financial Trading Decision Support System and Market Simulation for Intraday Trading. And I'm still investing my free time reading articles and following machine learning competitions, stuff like this. I'm so excited about recent developments in this area. I'm hopefully one day I'm going to see general AI framework and understand more about how human intelligence work and where the consciousness come from. I'm hoping with this course I can get your attentions in this amazing subject as well. You can find me on Twitter or GitHub and if you take this course I'd love to hear your feedback. In this course we are going to be talking about Deep Learning 4G, an underlying concept about Deep Learning algorithms. Deep Learning 4G is an industry standard framework that helps you build smarter applications. You can create them with few lines of configuration and train them either distributed on the cloud or on your local machine's GPU or CPU. You can save your models and deploy them in production with ease of use. So the roadmap is going to be as follows. If you are a Java developer with no background in neural networks, in the first section you will be learning building blocks of neural networks. And you are going to be doing quick stuff just to get a taste of deep learning in Java. After that you will be getting into more detail in section 2 and we are going to be looking at several different neural network models. The approach in this course is we introduce the concept first and then quick examples. Since this topic is little different than others, you cannot just take a neural network as a black box and use it for your own. You always need to understand what it does behind the scene. But don't worry, we keep it simple. So in section 2, you'll learn neural networks. Once you're done with the basic concepts, with section 1 and section 2 and section 3 we are going to introduce you state of our deep learning algorithms and their application areas. Also just like we did in the other two sections we'll be showing you quick examples in this section as well. In section 4 you'll notice that we configured a lot of parameters throughout the first three sections. Therefore in that section you'll be learning how to tune these configurations and understand the intuition behind of them, so that you can develop more performant deep learning models. In this section, first we are going to introduce hyperparameters that we want to tune. After that, we are going to take a look at how to select right parameters. Third, we are going to show you one of the most important parameter tuning method, early stopping, that we can easily implement it using deep learning 4J. And finally, we are going to introduce you testing and evaluating methods. Besides of all, I will also share my experience throughout the course. I'm hoping that you are going to like this one and I am hope to hear feedbacks from you. In summary, you will get a basic understanding of neural networks and deep learning. You'll immediately implement what you learn using Deep Learning 4G. And we also show you the applications of several different models. And I'm only expected you to know Java and undergraduate level math. 
For now, that's all. Hope to see you in the course.